Hi guys, welcome back to Karamiya's Corner. Join me today for Shop Your Stash and Let's Craft 2022. This is an open collaboration I'm hosting. You can post a project once a week or per month. Hop in or hop out, make the featured project in this video or make your own. It's a great way to encourage each other to use our crafty stash. Today's project theme is summer. Let's make some twin chi or ATC photo strips and I'll put the materials that you'll need up above and then we will start crafting. So I have this cute little die here that looks like a little photo frame, so I'm gonna be using that as well. I have my Project Life binder punch, and I made this little piece here, and I thought, why don't we make an actual strip? So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I've also pulled out some of my planner stickers, which a lot of us have, but don't really get to use all year round. I know, I haven't used them all up, so I thought this would be great for summer swaps. I have my pre-cut 2x2 sheets here from off-cut pattern paper that I haven't used. And I'm starting to just use some stickers to mat the background. We're going to mix it up with two uh, sticker collections here. I've had this one for a while. It was gifted to me by my sweet friend Sandra. And I rediscovered it in my stash, so I thought this would be perfect. To add, I recently saw Donna Designs uh, Twinchies, which are so gorgeous. She makes some shabby chic themed ones. If you'd like to see it, please check it out. I'll link it down below. I have yet to make more of the Twinchies. This is actually my first attempt, so I thought I'd start simple and um, just play around with some stickers and embellish a little bit of this cute little paper. The next one is a really old collection. I forget if it was recollections, but I love the sunnies that are on that sheet of paper. And I've been holding on to that for quite a while, so I thought let's make use of it. And so when you go through your stickers, here's a perfect one. It has so many sentiments and fun little patterns that we can use for a small space. Also, let me know if you like seeing a sped up video processes or do you want to see real time? I can do that as well. So now I'm creating a little message on our photo strip and I found this little banner that says, Hey, I love the colors. I pulled out my enamel dots and if you've been crafting for a while, you must remember how popular these uh, enamel stickers were probably 2016 to 2018. A lot of projects always had those wonderful enamel stickers and so I am using them up and I they've I've had them in a, for a while in my stash. So here is a lined little sticker. I have my circle little die cut there and I put the word I think have fun. Let's find another sticker. I'm trying to figure out if I should use that sticker or find something else. So I'm just going to put my favorite Daiso uh, double-sided adhesive. I love how you know sturdy and strong it is versus using regular glue. So this is my preferred adhesive. And here I've found the image and just kind of layered those two together. So now we have our three twin sheets. I have uh, pre-cut my photo strip and I've used my binder punch to create that, uh, you know, kind of film negative reel look. So I'm just laying it out to see how it looks. Now I don't like the white background, so I've decided to use this purple kind of map extra uh, paper that I've had laying around. I thought it would add more color and brightness to our photo strip. So I'm just measuring it up and then I'm gonna be trimming it just a little bit so that it'll fit perfectly into place. So you can definitely use black cardstock if you would like or just plain white cardstock. You don't necessarily have to do the same punches that I did on the side. Now if you don't have the binder punch you are more than welcome to check your stash and see if you have your Zutter Cinch tool is perfect for using and creating this look as well. You can also use a circle punch and then just kind of try your best to uniformly punch the sides. 
So I've decided to kind of do layering here with some text. I love creating collages, so I thought I'd put a little paper collage. I am uh, separating the paper because I want I don't want to hide the purple, and I just want to show bits and pieces of text. So I am putting some underneath at the very bottom and at the top. So now we're going to glue this down and complete our first twinchy photo strip. So I think this is a fun way to use it. When you have your swaps, you can definitely use these strips as a little piece that you can add to your planner. If you have a planner that has the same uh, format or you can um, use it as a belly band in your journal and you can also use it as just a way to create your page layout in your journal it makes it so much fun and colorful and um, I'm just looking at my paper trying to figure out where to put that there it is okay so I'm just lining it up and then we're going to continue embellishing it so uh, let me know what you guys are working on for summer uh, swaps currently i'm going to be busy working on a swap and so if you've missed the unboxing of the wonderful package that bb's closet creation sent me for our little swap and so challenge and swap uh, i am so excited to work on it and share with you what i have sent her and also what I will be making with the project that she started that I have to finish. And so speaking of finishing, I am just finishing off this strip with a little fuzzy cut camera that I um, got from some of my like remaining paper. So that is our first photo strip. I'm going to put that aside. Now we're going to be working on ATC style size. And this time I picked up this black and white polka dot strip, did the same thing and punched the sides uh, with my binder punch. Now I'm using the rectangle stickers here as the background. And I'm going to continue just, you know, framing them and layering them and embellishing them. So this is the fun part of doing our Shop Your Stash and Let's Craft collaboration you get to try out new projects you get to use up your stash and also share them with your crafty friends so i am planning to hopefully mail these off to some rack summer rack mail very soon and i want to send some wonderful uh, packages to some of my crafty friends that have been so supportive of my channel through the years and I just wanted to pay it forward and say thank you by sending them some summer happy mail. So I love this die. It has kind of like um, a phone look to it or the old look of an iPod. If you remember the first versions before we had the iPhones. So I am just putting that on top. It's such a cute image. And I think I'll be able to fit three on this strip. So let's see what are we going to pick next. And you can, you know, change your colors to, you know, make it more varied and bright. So I'm going with the yellow one here. And I love these sticker books. They are just fun. And I love that they come with different seasons. So you can definitely make different themes. It doesn't have to necessarily be summer. You can pick to do Christmas in in this photo strip or you can make it anything you want. So now I am taking this sticker off. I didn't quite like the way that lay, so I'm gonna put that in just a bit. And I'm gonna put some glue and then we're gonna put that on top of our background. This is a super fun really really super easy little crafty project and you can definitely add charms to on the punches on the side there if you would like and so i've cut just a little piece of that sticker and now i am going to add a little palm tree there or coconut 
And then a flower from DT. I love those flowers. They're so pretty. I don't think I've seen them anymore. I've seen people hauling them. And I'm glad I was able to buy a couple. So I'm finishing off our third image at the bottom of our photo strip. I'm adding a few details of sandals. And I think I add a little shell. And then just a few more finishing touches. And um, I'm looking for the word vacay. And there was a banner sticker somewhere in here. And there it is. Spotted it. So I thought that would be perfect to put in there. So you can definitely add this photo strip because it is a little longer to your traveler's notebook if you would like. Uh, you can use it as a bookmark, as a little uh, floating journal card. And now I'm just going to put a little sentiment on top and it says do your thing and then at the bottom let's see what we can put some flowers and I choose the green so I'm picking out the green from her background and her uh, beach blanket and I'm just going to attach a little bit of a coral colored flower on top to add some contrast and then we have that beautiful yellow flower so here is a look at our completed Twinchy photo strip and here is the ATC style photo strip as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this little shop your stash and let's craft. And um, so here it is. You can put a little charm if you would like. And again, perfect for swaps. You can cut them smaller and just use them individually like that. Or you can make them bigger like this one on the left. Thanks again for watching Karamia's Corner. See you next time. Bye.